What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 video. Today, I woke up and I said, you know what Pokemon I miss from VGC 2017? Golduck. If you didn't know, Golduck was a threat in 2017. Uh, due to the limited decks, it was one of the best Swift Swimmers. If you guys want a lore video on that, I'd be more than happy to, you know, give, give, a, give a little video about that. Uh, but yeah, so I just, I don't know. I've always liked Golduck. I always thought it was kind of interesting. I like how in the, uh, was it Fire Red and Leaf Green Sprite, it looks like he has a really fat back. It's just funny. He's just a funny little guy. And I thought about what niche he might have, uh, and I found it. Check this out. Swift Swim. Hypnosis. And it's faster than Poliwa <laughs> Poliwrath. So that's what we're going to use it for. We're going to use it as a very powerful special attacker uh, in rain with access to a very gross move in hypnosis. Of course, it's only a 60% chance to land, but in a lot of cases, uh, we call that a 60% chance to win. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this name point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day, which is clean your room. It's disgusting. Are you going to clean it? Let me know. <laughs> I, I say that because my room is a mess right now and so is my entire apartment. So it's Sunday for me today. I'm going to be cleaning. It's going to be a good day. Uh, but yeah, so obviously if we're going to be using this guy. We want a Kyogre on our team. Uh, and for anti-rain stuff, I was actually, or anti-sun stuff, I was actually somewhat considering running Cloud9. Uh, but ended up deciding against it. Just it, it just wasn't like, I feel like even though I'll, I'll be able to hit ground on and probably one shot it with a Max Geyser. Uh, it's it's just not worth it because a lot of them are AV and maybe they can live a Goldux freaking Max Geyser if, since there's no rain, you know, so I don't know. I don't know. I, I just thought it wasn't worth the risk. So we're going to be using Kyogre Golduck with Swift Swim. As for moves that Golduck gets that are super useful, I mean, I was somewhat considering running, um, what was it, running Icy Wind. And the reason because of that is Regieleki's max speed is 177 or 277. Uh, which we should be able to outspeed. I think we can go modest. Let me let me see. So 277 uh, divided by 2 is like, what is it? 270 is 135. So 277 would be like 139. So yeah, we'd have to go timid then, uh, which I'm fine with because, you know. So if we go 139 speed, that should be faster than that. Let me, you know, let me just double check. Yeah, 278. Okay, just just gotta make sure. Just gotta make sure in case I, I'm stupid. Um, so 139 is our magic number there. Uh, that allows us to outspeed Regieleki. So I think Icy Wind is worth it, uh, and that allows us to run a Scarf Kyogre with just like standard Scarf stuff. So let's go Water, Water Spout, uh, Ice Beam, Thunder. And I could run Scald, but I'm a big Origin Pulse fan. I just like being able to hit things, you know? Uh, and I'll probably end up running Scald on this guy. If not, you know, Scald's good, but what if what if we just, like, max out our damage? Let's just let's just throw Caution to the wind and miss every single hit. What if we run Wide Lens, huh? What, what, about, what about that, huh? No, we probably want to run, like, Life Orb. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Wide Lens is, is the play. Maybe that's a thing. Uh, what else could we do? Like, I mean, this guy, it's got a lot of cool moves. Like, it's got more interesting moves than you'd think. That's why I'm just, I'm surprised people don't use it more. I think if it had Fake Out, it'd actually be really gross, but it doesn't. So Ludicolo gets used. Um, let me think. I mean, just look at all. Why does it have Toxic in, in, Gen, in Gen 8? It's got Toxic? That's insane. Not that that's any good, but, you know. I don't know. I just want to look at this. Wonder Room. That's not worth it. Uh, Screech would be kind of interesting. Low Sweep is kind of cool, but Icy Wind's better. Yeah, I don't know. Just a, a ton of fun moves. So, for our last move, do I want to run Heat? Do I want to run Heat? And if so, what Heat is there? <coughs> um, Focus Blast could be kind of interesting. Not that there are any, like, Steel types that get hit super effective by it in this format. Fling. What if I... Ooh... Ooh, what if I run Razor Claw Fling? If you don't know, that causes an opponent to flinch immediately. That could be kind of funny. Oh, that could actually be really gross. The one thing is that it doesn't work on Dynamax Mons, so that's kind of not as useful as it used to be. Um, 
I don't know. I don't want to. I don't just want to run protect. That's the thing. Like that's that's the last thing I want to do here is just run protect. But I might end up having to do it. Does it get any dark moves for like Calyrex? It, it gets fling. I but I'm not gonna one shot it with fling. That's the issue. Does it get helping hand? No. I don't know. We'll come back to that. Uh, beyond that, if we don't run wide lens, we're gonna run like a life orb. So. Uh, let me run a calc. Actually, do you get, like, any kind of grass moves, like grass knot? No? Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, if for, as, just so you guys know, like, I, I was considering running Inteleon over that today, because Inteleon could actually be a nice little anti-meta pick for, um, beating Groudon and Charizard, because it can one-shot both of them, and it bypasses the ability for Gastrodon to, um... What is it? The G-Max form bypasses Gastrodon's ability to just redirect it. Uh, and also just Snipeshot does that too. So we might look into that soon. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Uh, but as far as this team goes, I think if I'm running Gold at Kyogre, my second Restricted, I, I got a few options. Um, I could run Solgaleo. That's not like terrible next to it. Uh, Zacian's probably optimal. Uh, but also we could run like a, a Trick Room team with like Calyrex Ice on it. I think for this team, we're just going to go Hyper Offensive. We're going to do a Zacian Kyogre combo or not that Zacian the better Zacian the cooler the cooler Daniel if you may you know or if I may or whatever the saying is I don't care so if I'm running Golduck Zacian um probably want a ground type Lando might not be bad actually I think Lando's gonna be great I've been I've been on a huge Lando kick recently if you haven't noticed like I really love using Lando in this format um yeah I think we're gonna go Lando here you know it gives us intimidate uh it gives us a switch in for like Reggie Lecky, just a hard counter to that. Um, also, it doesn't do bad versus Defiant Thunderous, but it's, it's you know, because it gives it an, a Defiant boost. But uh, at the very least, like you can trade and attack with it. Like if they're going to max Airstream you, they have to take a max Rockfall, which they don't like. Uh, Ferrothorn doesn't seem bad. I could also go Amoongus. Let's look at Grass types. I'm thinking oh, Kartana could be kind of funny too. Kartana could also be kind of funny because it's a rain team. Uh, but defensively, we're missing a bit. What if I go Zarina? Zarina on rain has never been bad. And also, it might be pretty decent in this format due to the fact that we're seeing a lot more um, like fake out leads. Well, I mean, we always see fake out leads, but we're seeing like a lot more like fake out Pokemon. Like Rillaboom's coming back. Um, even for, you know, it, it dropped a little bit, but I've seen it rise in usage recently. Uh, beyond that, Incineroar is always super common. Um, what else? There's that really weird fake out in DD Curum team, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Zarina might not be a bad option. Zarina might, might not be bad because I can run like an, uh, an assault vest on this guy. And Queenly Majesty obviously allows Golduck to be a little bit scarier on lead because you can't fake out it. So that could be kind of nice. Uh, and oh my god, yeah, no, I can lead off Golduck, Kyogre, and then just hard switch in Zarina and go for a Wide Lens Hypnosis if I feel like I can't take something on and just cheese out a win. Easy, yeah, we're gonna do that. So, obviously we want to run the standard Zarina set, which is going to be Trop Kick, U-Turn, um, High Jump Kick. And what's our last move gonna be? I like Faint. I think it lost Faint, though. Yeah, it did lose Faint. That kind of sucks. Ooh, Safeguard would be so good on Zarina, but, you know, AV. Fun fact, uh, Zarina for a while would run Grassy Glide because it was great against uh, Rillaboom because you would block all opposing Grassy Glides and then just steal your terrain to Grassy Glide. Very funny set. Very, very funny. I'm thinking, uh, let me think. We have, like, all the staples. I suppose we could run... Play rough or man I don't know I don't know maybe we'll just go triple axle what does that hit that hits Landorus but Landorus already beats us hmm I think I'll go I think I'll go play rough is that good? No. You know what? No, we're going to go triple axle because actually that's really nice versus Thunderous. Yeah. That's actually a really good move versus Thunderous right now. Uh, as for our last Pokemon, we got Water, Water, Steel Fairy, Ground Flying, Grass. Uh, we need a Fire-type, otherwise we just hard lose to Ferrothorn. 
Incineroar is probably the best pick, uh, and I know a lot of you guys hate that Incineroar is usually the best pick, but that's just the way that it goes. That's just the way it is. I could run... <laughs> I mean, what am I saying? Okay, I could run Alolan Marowak for a couple of reasons. For one, it's a fire type that always beats Ferrothorn. It does decent into Calyrex Ice, which our team might not love that much, because it's slower than it. And also we redirect electric moves. It's, and I also, I already have an Intimidator. Maybe, if, if I do that, I would want to switch out Zarina for something else. You know what, you know, this is a team builder. This is a team building and team testing episode of the channel. So why not? You know, if we're going to do something crazy like Golduck, we might as well just add on a couple other crazy things. Why not? Why not? Let's, let's do it. So Golduck, um, there here, let me get this guy going. So obviously we, we want to run... I Poltergeist is a great move, don't get me wrong. But Shadow Bone just doesn't miss, and it has the chance to lower defense stat. And also, Poltergeist will fail if a Calyrex already has its weakness policy, so it's like not worth it. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, we're going to go Protect, Flare Blitz, uh, Shadow Bone. And the last move uh, is always a little bit tough, because I want to run Will-O-Wisp. I want to run Will-O-Wisp, I really do. But also, Burning Jealousy isn't a bad option. Neither is Parasong. Like, Marowak Alola is one of the coolest VGC Pokemon ever, just because of the sheer utility it brings. Not only is it an oppressively scary Pokemon due to the fact that Thick Club is basically a free Swords Dance and permanent, and it can't be burned, um, but also just the fact that it's like always, always, always going to have some kind of cool move that you can run on it. Like, I ran Burning Jealousy back in the day, but... Yeah, I think in this case we'll run Will-O-Wisp. We'll do that. Okay, and I'm probably going to build him to be a bit defensive, so let's get into the Picolytics damage calc and get into that part of the team builder. Um, So. No, that's not the damage calc here. Damage calc, open link, a new tab. There we go. All right. We already have a few things figured out. My, I already know what set I'm going to run on Zacian, so like all the copy-paste sets are going to be fine. By the way, update on this team. It's working a lot better now. I actually swapped out the Regieleki for... Oh, why is it Light Ball? Maybe that's why the screens ran out. <laughs> I swapped it out for Light Clay uh, and like a screen set. And it's actually been like... Screens Regieleki is so weird because it used to be good and then it was bad. And now I feel like it's not bad. It's just like, okay. And it works well for this team. It's a roll compression because I was really thinking about running... Um, I was really thinking about running the Grimstarl over Regieleki, but I really needed an electric type, so I just roll compressed them. All right, and as for the Choice Scarf set, like, we're just going to run Timid. We're going to run Standard Timid. Okay. Now, uh, Landorus, I am a big White Herb fan. We don't have screens, so it's a little bit rougher. For the fact, or for the, for the sake of just team building quicker, we're just going to do the same set that I usually run. The only thing is this is usually behind screen, so it doesn't really like do much. Uh, Swords Dance, um, Fly, Rock Slide, Earthquake. All right, so the only two I really need to calc are these guys. So uh, let's go to Zarina first. It's gonna be running Assault Vest. Uh, offensively, I'd like, to, I'd like it to KO like a non-bulky Kyogre. Probably gonna go adamant, so chop kick. Maybe I'll go power whip just for the extra damage. Yeah, um, I'll go power whip just to like one shot Kyogre. Do I want to do that? Nah, chop kick's probably better. Yeah, I don't mind not one-shotting it, now that I think about it. Let's just calc defensively and throw Chop Kick on there. However, a two-hit KO on Groudon would be great, so we're going to calc for that, now that I think about it. Let's go just max HP Groudon. Max HP for defense, yeah. Chop Kick, can we get that to a two-hit KO? Dang, this move sucks. It's just such a nice utility move. Okay. Okay. All right, Marcos. Fine. Fine. All right, Power Whip. We'll do Power Whip. Fine. Okay. Kyogre. What is a one-shot on Kyogre with Power Whip? How little attack do I need to run? And can I go Jolly instead? 
Uh, I can go Jolly. Let's do that. I don't know if I'm going to need it. Maybe I'll end up running like plus special defense, but for a non-attack boosting nature, I only need that much. So 12. Let's look at uh, Zacian. I'd like to take a Behemoth Blade, please. 99% right now with this spread. So I guess I'll just keep that. Uh, as for the speed and special defense, that's what we're going to tweak here. Uh, let me think. So, can I get this guy to... I'm trying to think, what do I want to take? I mean, 3-hit KO from Calyrex Shadow isn't a bad benchmark. Calyrex Shadow. Uh, most of them are not Life Orb, most of them are Focus Sash right now, so we're not going to calc for that. Astral Barrage, this is Assault Vested. We're just gonna get that to a three hit KO and I guess I'm going with plus special defense. So we'll calc Sassy right now, but it's not gonna be Sassy. It's gonna be whatever the correct nature is. All right, guaranteed three hit KO. I could, I could like almost get that to a four hit KO. That's kind of funny. <laughs> um, what about Ice Beam from Kyogre? Why am I calculating? Or why am I searching Ice Beam? Let me search Kyogre. There we go. All right. Kyogre's Ice Beam. That is a three hit KO, which is really, really nice, actually. Dang, I really don't know um, what I want to calc for then. As far as speed goes, let me look at speed tiers. It would be nice to outspeed. It's such a weird... The 72 is such a weird number. Because it's like... There's nothing that's like right next to it. Um, maybe I'll just put 4 speed in there. To outspeed the one other... The one other Zarina we're going to run into. How about that? <laughs> okay. We'll just go with that. Alright, so 252, 12. We're going... Uh, what's our nature? Plus special defense minus special attack. What was it? 52 defense... And then just dump. 188. Okay. Yeah. Why does it do nothing? Why is Ice Beam Calc to do nothing? Hello? That's so weird. Okay. Anyways, whatever. The Calc is being weird again. Let's Calc for uh, Alola Marowak. This is so weird. Why is it calc to do nothing? Sometimes the Picolytics calc would just break on you like this and I- Oh, because I clicked protect. Okay. <laughs> that's why. I don't know why protect is an option. I guess that's for like Z moves or max moves. Okay. Let me see. So, Calyrex Ice is something that we want to calc for here. Calyrex Ice, Picolytics set. Yeah, seems about right. Um, I just want to one hit KO it with Shadow Bone. Which it looks like I can't. What is this Pokemon? Hello? Like, Flare Blitz will do it, but why doesn't Shadow Bone? And I can't run Poltergeist. Because that will just fail. What if I Dynamax? Jeez. <laughs> this is so gross. Why does this Pokemon exist? Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll just do 252, 252. Maybe if it isn't broke, we just don't we just don't fix it, you know? All right. We'll go Brave here, and we'll just stick with that. So this is a pretty interesting team. Um, as for our last move, I still haven't decided, I think. Despite saying I don't want to run Protect, Protect is probably just best. Yeah, uh, this is going to be interesting. I don't know how good this team's going to be. In fact, it might be kind of bad, uh, but I think it's going to be fun to use on low ladder, so we'll see what we can do. Never said I was breaking the metagame here, just that I wanted to use Golduck. Let's get it. I think we're like 1400? No, we're 1386. So, we should get some decent matches. Okay, okay. So, we see um, Thunderous plus Cali Shadow. Whenever you see Cali Shadow and a Thunderous, usually it's going to be um, Defiant to counteract things like Ferret, not Ferrothorn, uh, Incineroar. 
but also there's a Blastoise here, which makes me question that. But it might be it might be prankster with like raid dance. So got to be careful there. Uh, I think I like Golduck on lead. Yeah, I think I'll go Golduck on lead with Kyogre. And I'll go Zarina. And I think my last Mon kind of has to be Zacian. And that should be fine. Yep, they go Blastoise. So, I'm going to Queenly Majesty block this attack. They're probably going to go for a Fake Out. I like to Hypnosis the Calyrex. Let's see if I land it. That'd be gross. Wide Lens, do your thing. Oh yeah, baby. Turn one. <laughs> Imagine. It literally could not be me. Literally could not be me. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, do I just go for KOs here? Why not? Why not? Actually, I'm gonna let Calyrex sit there for a second. I'm gonna go for Hypnosis and a Power Whip. Let's see if I land this. Thank you, Wide Lens. <laughs> do you want to see me land another one? Do you want to see me land another one? I'm gonna land another one and I'm gonna U-turn out. You can't stop it. You literally can't stop it. Watch me land another one. Also, the Astro Brows just bounced off. Oh my god, this is nasty. This is nasty. I, I'm ashamed. I must admit, I'm ashamed of what I've created here. Water Spout here is always safe. He has no switches. <laughs> oh no, no, I did not just do this to this guy. There's no chance. I actually just... <laughs> Dude, I think Wide Lens Golduck might be kind of a... It might be a vibe. It might be a vibe. Okay. Stinky. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. What is your play versus me? Your play versus me is you want to fake out, but you also want to Dynamax. Because you're thinking, man, what do I do to this thing if I don't Dynamax? I'm going to take the Zacian. It's about time. We take the Zacian. He didn't fake out. That's why we're taking the Zacian. Bam! It lived. But it didn't. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. Let me uh, get the Zacian in here. I don't really need it. Actually, I can get Zarina in here. Max guys are getting Zarina. Also, we... <laughs> he Max guys are crit my Kyogre. Why are you not G-Max? Interesting. Anyways, yeah. Good game. Good game. Uh, I think what I just did was illegal. Pretty sure what I just did was illegal. My bad. Dude, the wide lens though? The wide lens? I'm beginning to think this is going to be kind of good. <laughs> With a 66% chance to land hypnosis, that's two thirds. That's a two thirds chance. Two out of three hypnosises will land. Speaking of hypnosis, do you think this guy's got hypnosis on his circuitry? All right, um, so here I actually still like the Golduck Kyogre lead along with uh, Zarina, and I think I go Zacian again. Like every time we face, every time we face Kyogre, we kind of have to do this. Um, I'm not faster than this Kyogre unless it's like, hmm, unless it's like modest, then I'm faster. I'm going to Hypnosis it, and I think I'm going to max immediately and try to KO the Tornadus. The only thing is it's probably Sash. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to Geyser it. Tailwind. He goes for Water Spout. Golduck lives. Go to sleep. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! <laughs> he wasn't Sash too. No way. There's just no way. There's just no way. There's the Zerkatry. You know who's faster than Zerkatry like always unless it's Choice Scarf? Yeah, 148. Oh, yeah. Please don't be max speed. Please, sir, do not be max speed. I could also Icy Wind here. Icy Wind's probably better. Because he's going to max Lightning. So 
So here I Icy Wind, and I'm gonna get my Zarina in. Yeah, I'm gonna end my Max because Scarf is better in this in this situation. All right, Max Lightning the Zarina. Oh, you're you're crazy, man. You're crazy. You're actually crazy. Oh, I think I lose this. No. Double out. You turn on the Zerka tree. Actually, I should probably power whip this Kyogre. Oh, I think I lose to this. He got me. I could have just, I could have literally just Max Geysered it and it would have not, it would not have a good time. It could be AV too. Maybe he just knows he lives. Maybe he just knows. Max Strike. Hello. That's kind of cool. Stays asleep. Loses his Kyogre for it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, How do I get Zacian back on the field and not lose him? Without also losing Kyogre. Because Kyogre is way better in the endgame here. I think I just double attack the Zerka tree here. And just try to get Water Spot Kyogre in at the end. I could also slow U-turn. We'll do that. Alright, it wakes up. Goes for Origin Pulse. Slow U-turn out. Reset my speed stat. And now I really hope he's not Scarf. Here, I need to go for Power Whip onto Kyogre, or onto Zerka Tree. And... Water Spout's still stronger than Origin Pulse, so I do that. Let's see if it KOs. He protects. Probably a Kyogre, or probably a Incineroar in the back then, but I don't think that saves him. Oh, he was stalling out the rain. Crit? Crit though? Crit, technically? Oh, no crit. Alright, GG. That was a cool team. That was a very cool team. Congratulations on 1500 with Zerka Tree. That's heat. That's heat. Good for my opponent. Okay. So this is uh, kind of an interesting match. Uh, it looks like they're running Eveltalization with Gastrodon. So lots of redirection. Lots and lots and lots of redirection. Um, especially for Golduck, that'd be, it could be kind of annoying. But my opponent here is thinking, oh, Mr. Silky Baritone. By the way, that's an inside joke. I don't actually have a Baritone. Um, Mr. Silky Baritone here is going to want to go for the Max Geyser turn one, to which he will lose his Zacian to sleep. So we're going to do this. Uh, my last Pokemon, I think I'm actually... I want to go Zacian again. I feel bad I haven't used Lando yet. Lando might not be bad. Like, it actually might be kind of good. Lando might be kind of good here. We'll do it. We'll do it. We need we need the Intimidate. Why not? Let's do it. Lando might be the play. Nah, nah. You know what? Golda, Kyogre, Zacians are... We're winning this game. We're winning this game. All right. There's the Voltal, there's the Incineroar. To which I say, okay, stinky, Hypnosis, Zarina. Check it, we're gonna land it. We have yet to miss a Hypnosis this video. We're not gonna. Guarantee you, we're not gonna miss a Hypnosis once. And if they Dynamax this Voltal and it gets Hypnosis, they're gonna be so upset. All right, they go Gastrodon East. Oh no, oh no. No, this is not a gamer moment. Actually, no, we're fine because we still just hypnosis it. We have another attempt at hypnosis I hypnosisizing. Um, and I'm actually, I kind of want to predict the Incineroar to come right back in, but I shouldn't high jump kick the, the Gastrodon on that prediction because I'll actually just, you know, take damage. So Power Whip's still the best play. So yeah. Hypnosis, Power Whip.
Golduck, put this put this Eveltal to sleep. Go ahead. Put this Incineroar to sleep. Don't care. That's fine. Guess what? I can now put Azashian to sleep. This remains an option. So I'm going to Hypnosis the Zacian. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, U-turn on the Incineroar. Switch in the Gastrodon trying to save it for some reason, even though you should know that you live. That's fine. I U-turn on you. And here, here, ladies and gentlemen, I get in my own Zacian and hope this doesn't wake up. Boom, what did I tell you? And now, and now for the grand finale, Icy Wind into you, into Behemoth Blade. They've already protected this turn. Something gets Behemoth Bladed and they will not like it. Gastrodon on East? Okay, that one's fine with it, to be honest. Stay asleep. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Um, let us attempt another Hypnosis, and I will now just Sacred Sword the Incineroar. Yep. That goes down. They have lost a tool, a very valuable asset even. In 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 uh, inexcusable loss on their end. Oh, but what what is what is Marcos boosted going to do here? Is he going to go right into the Kyogre and put this Evelta to sleep? Hmm. Is that his play? Yes. Yes, it is. Go to sleep, stinky. Okay. Well, you're just going to yawn me. But honestly, this is worth this is worth the trade. This is seriously worth the trade. Yeah, no, like, if I put whatever comes in on that slot to sleep, like, it's entirely worth it. Uh, I'll go Zarina here. And I'm ready and willing to trade the Golduck. Yeah, no, go to sleep. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So here what I'm going to do is go Kyogre and U-turn on the Zacian. Because they're going to protect. Or switch into Evolto, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And now I get in my Zacian, my stinky guy, and here I am going to, hmm, I think Thunder into Behemoth Blade is my play on the Eveltal. Yep, that was my play. Goodbye. 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 Outplayed, put to sleep, ratioed. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, beautiful. Honestly, we only got three battles because most of the video was me just building the team. But this is nasty. This could actually be a thing. Like, this could be the most annoying thing to face in, like, in Swiss. I like this team. I like it quite a bit. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.